A dog has been a man's best friend for centuries, uh, which ultimately makes him the most loyal of companions that frankly top both humans and animal species. I mean, you won't find a pet like a lizard or a rabbit that loyal. In fact, not loyal at all and you sure cannot cuddle with them as you would with them fluffy hounds. Dogs are often used by police and there are a couple of best police dog breeds too. All men are dogs, they say. Which explains the reason why two have gotten along with each other and for so long and still to their say too. In a domestic situation, dogs are pets to every citizen but in a police force, there are certain dog breeds that are chosen and trained for birth, bred into instruments in order to assist them in various different duties and tasks that being a police officer would entail. There are over 100 or more species and breedings of dogs in the world. And so here we are with the time of the best police dog breed that were almost born to be on the force. These canine pals aren't your ordinary average dog when they're on the force and they are focused to be in the line of duty along with their police officers by their side. It would be highly appropriate to present the cop dogs with a shiny accolade of honor since they are remarkable, remarkable animals that can do some of the greatest of things and even some talented humans wouldn't be able to let alone be brave enough to serve on the police force all over the globe. Subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. So number 10 we have German Short Hair Pointer. A very short dog as its name suggests. However, due to being so commonly found and bred, they are grown in numbers and is also shortly known again as GSPs. The German Short Hair Pointer is among the best police dog breeds and being in the world's existence ever since the 1800s. It's rather sporty and look frail in appearance. But then again, this dog shouldn't be judged by the texture of its fur and skin as it's one of the most active and friendly dogs out there. With regards to its being one of the recommended and considered breed for the police force, it's also a hunter dog as ever dog regardless of its breed. But mainly for hunting games and birds as well, it's been said by locals that dog is of the Spanish standard of some strange reason. A German pointer ranks 10 at the list of the police stop reasons prone to die quickly due to commonly suffering from gastric torsion while there are complications in the stomach that is not immediately affected to by whether it could be fatal. Number 9. Bloodhound The Bloodhound is really a dog with large hound ears which makes it rather unique in appearance from the rest and it often ranks as one of the best police dog breeds that if you ask this dog why the long face, it will be because it just naturally looked this way. Don't mistake the long face though as being curly teddy bear, it's quite a powerful dog with more masculine side to it, which is a common reason as to why it's been yet another one of the um, top dog, you know, top of these dog breeds. This is definitely one dog that stands firmly straight to the command of its trainer and instructor and says the police setting involves stringency and discipline in all sense of that word from its officer as well as whatever they do. Having this dog as part of them is something of a more meaningful nature since it breed blends in with the coaching demeanor of police officers. The Bloodhound is another hunting dog for, with the only twist of it being able to hunt bigger things just, than just birds, things like deer and wild boars. Bloodhound in, the, in this case is an appropriate name to call it, however it does sincerely have a faith that you cannot easily turn away from. Number 8. Boxer as the name suggests, this is a more fighter dog and among the best police dog breeds. There are primarily two types of boxer dogs in the police force, which is the uh, Shunzen Boxer and the Dasha Boxer, and both breeds are equal in their doggy personalities in some strange but acceptable ways. Boxer can be considered as the more martial arts or gymnastic types of down due to their amazing ability to spring up in a jump of somewhat high raised bars of height that you challenge them to reach. Having this natural bred and talent, Trainability in them serves as somewhat of a highly flexible respect of their work. Any hound that is flexible can be yielded into performing new tricks, which will validate its duty as due being cop dogs in any police force as the demand for the unique and exclusive to serve as systems of dogs in the police force never seem to end. Flexibility of any kind in the force goes a long way with the type of duty they have to conduct on a daily basis. A flexible box can be used for several aspects in police training, which is a great advantage overall to the officer that they jump and expert the canine to ask how high by their actions and efforts. Number 7. Labrador Retriever How is one furry friend that is considered to be one of the cutest looking dogs in mainly the females of the world? However, when we speak of Labrador Retriever, this is a total other breed as its very own. In general, and a more common breed of Labrador they, in a household, it will serve as a super cute pet as well as an overly friendly puppy that's always shaking all about and welcoming 
rushing to greet you with a constant wave of tail and legs of love and would also make a very awesome gift to a woman who will look after their own child. But apparently the Labrador is only one of the best police dog breeds too. Labrador Retrievers is a police database and on the other hand are bred for an entirely different reason and in that case is sniff out bombs, drug detection and other main reasons as to why police have dogs in the units to assist them. Most especially to the, uh, to the eyes and ears that goes further than what the human senses are capable of. This is quite a huge responsibility to be given to an animal with a mind of its own, seeing that it doesn't even know what a bomb is or how dangerous it is, which is why detecting it successfully only by mouth due to its strain ability. It's outrageously extraordinary in this case and deserves a high noted recognition. Number 6. Dutch German Shepherd we can gladly consider this as a number in the name brand type of German Shepherd, and as we all know that the Dutchess are known for their famous friendly and proper nature and so the Dutch German Shepherd's reputation should speak for itself. Here it also, being of Dutch descent it doesn't require much to tell you that needs to be told except that it's among the best police dog breeds. Police have adopted and trained Dutch German Shepherds for several reasons over the years and it's highly favored and considered an asset by the Holland police, who seem to have made a traditional home for Dutch Shepherd doggies in their force. Most definitely is one of the best police dog breeds for several reasons and with a staggering expectant, expected lifespans of between 13 to 15 years if nurtured and maintained well in terms of regular medical checkups, etc. This can be undoubtedly one of the main reasons that the clever Polish police have the Dutch German Shepherd on their forces and they didn't have to worry about replacing their dogs every year if it can last longer than a decade in their forces, which is actually a sustainable way of police dog breeding in the police force. Number 5. Giant Schnauzer The big dog always wins. This is an uncommon knowledge and the giant schnauzer is sure to intimidate any other dog that's smaller in line of sight and would frighten the criminals too. Let's be frank. Nobody fears for a small, playful dog as they would be a poor giant schnauzer in, the, in this case. Giant, as the name suggests, is definitely not for no reason and really demands an intention for respect and authority in a stance and stature. And if you're wondering, no, this isn't big for a nothing dog either, giant schnauzer have somewhat long fur which hangs from its mouth and which one's humans looks like an old military man, an ex marine that has a story of war to tell. Due to the large appearance of these dogs, they definitely would make a statement in which every police force that breeds and trains them. It's not appropriate to say that the amazing thing about this porch is that it's as high as its length, and being big in size and long in body length too, which gives them a large feel overall and their teal jolt together in a sizzle shape. Definitely one that you mess with as if you under the braid of its clenched jaws, you'd literally be torn apart. Steer clear from the giant schnauzer if, if to you your life is dear. Giant hounds when into the schnauzer makes a bold and vigorous appearance while keeping to his loyal side of being a dog and a companion to a human being. And nothing better to the police force to have a breed of dog that is proven to be trustworthy and its duty to conduct train abilities without going astray. Number 4. Doberman Pinscher most certainly cannot teach an old dog new tricks, but the Doberman can be classed as one of the new kids on the block apart from the other breeds. It's not a very biggie, but not a small either. In this regard, we can say it's just in the middle, but because of, the, because of it being one of the most common breeds in the US alone, it's widely considered the canine family dogs in the police force. Doby, as some would affectionately I like call it, is a slim and a sleek, sleek dog which makes it a lighter in weight, but with an added advantage of it being faster in speed. Part of the reason why today is ranked among the best in the planet, and this would be regarded as a great advantage to police officers that expected their dog to chase, hunt down, and actually catch the criminals for apprehension. And at least this is the one obvious characteristic that we can give the Doberman credit for, and that's his ability to run at a super fast speed which ensures a definite catch as it would never give up till it eventually meets the jaw end of its capture that has been released to spring after. If reliability in a dog breed that's up to police for its standards is what is looked for, then your Doberman Fincher would fit the description perfectly since the main objective of any dog force is to catch criminal, and with the street assistant of a Rottweiler descendant, Dobster, there is an increased amount of success here. Number 3. Belgian 
Tavoran. Belgian Tavoran is not your average dog breed and the name itself is a smaller conquer to the word terror and exactly as terrifying as it looks as well. Everybody fears a scary looking hound, even if it's not as dangerous as it appears, but the fact that the cheeky meat drip meat dripping dog and that was wants to take a wild reckless chance of opposing authorities who have this guard master by their side. Tavarines are absolutely hairy dogs and resemble the feared appearance of wolves. Now imagine a wolf that's tied to a leash as a beast it is that's so going to do everything in its mighty power to bust open to the wild when the hunt of its prey is what it was bred for. If it doesn't make you feel petrified then you should be as as this definitely one pet that you don't underestimate or take for a longer cuddly teddy, cuddly teddy bear. Although capable of being a loving, affectionate dog of every other dog would be, its line look speaks for itself and should immediately notify anything or anybody of a doubtful nature that is not to be messed with. Belgian Terran springs to their wolf characters within the line of defense of their human companion as well as being an all-round dog to serve as most things in the forts which would include truck detections again as well as the bumps, bomb sniffing and, nip, and many other things from being guard dog to a snipper dog to a loyal companion and hunter at the same time. Number 2. Rottweiler Every breed has a helpful male in their pack. Rottweiler are notoriously known for being the most fierce in their temperament and aggressive in their actions. Coolest and can raise hell from the ground at which you can stand on to, despite it not being the biggest dog out there. Sure, it's one of the bravest warrior dogs out there and is counted among the best police dog breeds. If size really mattered, then honestly even the elephant would be a king of the jungle. Its bite could snap your finger off with only a small grip and full motion making an extremely vicious and deadly dog to temper with that somebody would think twice, thrice and even four times before trying to run from one and provoke it by taunting gestures or disrespect of any sort. Definitely spells masculinity, virility, and manhood by claiming its territory from a puppy age. Thinking, thinking about frothing when you hear the word Rottweiler, having these fearless and courageous traits add an essence of being a hellhound. This ought to be alarming with a caution to every human and every dog too. Worse off if you're a cat in the same house as Ms. Mr. Veiler, since it's even your scent flickers under the radar of his ever-ready sharp and rather fierce of early nights. This automatically makes a furry cat or mouse of prey or deathly claws dump down death destruction along with his fishing, finishing teeth ripping move. Last we have number one German Shepherd. Ranking number one on our list. This breed has got to make a bold underlining statement in itself. This is most certainly a German spec shepherd and can be considered as a boss in its personality. And in case you're wondering, apart from human beings, dogs too have personality and they are able to interact with us just as our fellow friends and families to do with the only difference of not being able to speak but naturally their con unconditional love is still there. Wordly known, as a rather wise old dog that other little ones would look up to due to its father figure approach. Don't however mistake this one for being a pushover as its style of action can be direct linked to a strategic, strategic approach of a human in a military. Ever seen a dog with a wit of intelligence and restraint ever looking for a German Shepherd? Most of his personality and rather stern approach to everything would derive from the German master of centuries of grooming and training from a the time they are little puppies. It has been naturally passed down to the most recent breeds of German Shepherd as well as which can be considered as a remarkable act of nature that man hasn't entirely been in control of. German Shepherds make one of the best police dog breeds for several reasons, but the main one it would be due to its astounding attack ability. Police German Shepherd, however, are among the best police dog breeds and are also trained particularly for search and rescue purposes in the most rural settlements and is known for hardly failing uh, falling short in this regard in the line of duty as it were trained for. Come hell or high water, the dog has proven not to stop at anything until it does what it trained and deployed to do. These dogs can follow instructions better than some humans would be able to comprehend, which is one of the things we can hold the highest respect for. It is also very versatile and can be replaced into any training aspect of which the canine units were bred for the police force. Apprehending a right suspect are something that dogs in general tend to go beyond their calling for and these hounds do it 
with honor even if it means losing their lives in the call of duty. If you need a ranger dog to serve by your side as a partner when in the line of duty, you can count on the reliability of a German Shepherd being right behind you will never switch sides. The enemy or the police officer may be persuaded to do at times, which honestly makes it one of, one of if not the best police dog breeds. That's all this for now. Till next time.